I think um, NC is going a through a difficult time right now. Uh, losing a mother is not a small thing. And um, I, I, I really want to remove politics out of it. I understand that as the media and even the general public have interest in these things, but I, 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 my, my sense of humanity does not allow me to just keep on talking over this matter. But let, let, let me say this, and, and I, hope, I hope there will be no follow up on this, because even if there is, I, I'm really not going to entertain it. But, but, but let me take it in this way. President Cooper received a phone call from Maurice Zizai. And in that phone call, he says, Madam President, I'm phoning to share the sad news with you. Uh, Coco Chamisa is late. So, obviously, Madam President was shocked. Uh, so, they spoke, and uh, he, Maurice did say, I'm with Wendy here, and, 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 and then they will check if Madam President will be able to attend the funeral, which he said she will be able to attend. <coughs> She then gave me a call uh, to say such a thing has happened uh, and I must issue a statement on behalf of the party, which statement I'm sure most of you saw. And then I then said, Madam President, have you called him? Madam President said, no, I've sent him a message. And I said, Madam President, I think he's not, you need to call him. So obviously, those of you that know, NC has a lot of numbers, so you can, it's easy to send a message because you know you get it, but which one you can find him on voice, it's, it's very difficult. So we at least managed to track down the number that Madam President could find him on, and he was called. And obviously he was happy that the Madam President was able to console him and they had a, a conversation and the whole question of will you be able to make it for the, to the funeral, and yes, I'll be able to make it. Madam President then tells me to speak to Maurice to make sure, you know, kind of like arrange that there will be no skirmishes, there will be no... Uh, I, I must admit, I did not call Maurice, I didn't contact him until we arrived there. So when we arrived there, there was uh, a security checkpoint about 100 or so meters, could be less. From, from the homestead, so we passed to that checkpoint, and obviously that checkpoint would have then alerted uh, the security that the Banakaka and, uh, and Kuti of are coming. They came to us and asked us to park somewhere while they arranged because Mother uh, uh, NC wanted to come and, 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 and go with, uh, with Madam President to where the tent was in, and, and everything. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, the youths, um, the thing, the youths, I spoke to you three weeks ago about the impressionable uh, character of the youth. Uh, so there were those skirmishes which we, we just thought, uh -uh. Uh, this will take away, this will take away the attention of this most solemn moment which was happening, the burial of a mother the grief that the family was going through and everyone there and uh, at that time we made a decision and we managed to convince Madam President that uh -uh, while is to appreciate that NC is making all the efforts and he was uh, very very gracious and uh, I really felt sorry that he had to go through what he went through and uh, it was at that point that after the spoke at length with Madam President that we then said to Dr. Kulle Goslanda, uh, tell him we wish him well and, 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 and we are to be. So that's, that's, that's what happened there. Um, and then you spoke of the demonstrations, your, your second question, demonstrations with regards to the extraordinary Congress. We we, we, we are worried and, and, and suspicious because we, we are receiving a lot of intelligence that um, the, the accredible attempt to, to disrupt our extraordinary Congress. So 
um, and, and, and we found it very suspicious that uh, after we announce our date and then there is this uh, demonstration which is now being penned for, for, the, for the 31st. I hear when you say it's against corruption, um, but I, I wish you could take a look around the, the councils which our East Wild friends were, were in charge of until up to now. Um, you look at the corruption there, it's amazing. It's frightening. It's frightening what is happening there. So uh, maybe, you know, the English saying that says uh, don't throw stones when you're living at a glass house. Uh, uh, but really, to me, it still remains suspicious. Corruption is a cancer, by the way. And um, if we were to unite in our efforts as a country to deal with corruption, most of the socio-economic ills which our people are tackling with, they, they won't be there. So I don't want it to be lost to you, or I don't want any doubt that uh, we we condone corruption. No, we're against corruption. We we abhor corruption. We we will fight corruption with everything we have in us. Now here is a question. Um, uh, cost. With the havoc which COVID-19 is doing worldwide, by the way, look at what it's doing in America. And America has the capacity, well, at least we thought it had the capacity to deal with COVID. I mean, I mean, they are health, they are health care system. And we found out that, no, it was exposed. It, it doesn't have the capacity. Now, in a country like Zimbabwe, with doctors on strike, with the nurses also on, a, on, on an industrial action, with no medicine to speak of in this country, not even Panada. And then you want to go on a mass action, exposing so many people to COVID. And if they get that COVID, which health system is going to be able to cater for them? So there must be a balance here. Whatever you do, there should be a cost-benefit analysis. So having taken part in this demonstration, what are we going to achieve on the day which is going to set off the, 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 the COVID threat, that, uh, the, 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 the proliferation of, 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 of the disease, of the virus in people. So, no, it doesn't make sense to me. Honestly speaking, it doesn't make sense to me. COVID, this is not a job. This is serious. So, if we are going to do demonstrations, yes, but not during COVID time. I am not going to be that irresponsible. You know, uh, <laughs> You see me fighting with places like this. We talk sometimes on a very close place, a, a, a basis. So I, I, on, on, his, on his social media page, he's got these beautiful kids there. And I said to him, please uh, borrow me these kids for a weekend. He says, after, after COVID. Well, I was borrowing kids because my kids were locked outside the country because of COVID. So he says, after COVID. Now, you know, even if my kids were here, I do have teenage kids. I'm not going to send them to that demonstration. I don't want him to go to that demonstration because those kids still need a father. I don't want him to send his kids there because COVID is real. And if I don't want to send my kids, and if I don't want a, a blessed to send his kids there because instead of interviewing me now, he will be worried about the, the, the health crisis in his family. Whose child should I send there? Yes, can, so, I just, can, can I just make a follow up? Yeah. So what, what's so particular, what's so unique, what's so peculiar about your extraordinary congress, which doesn't have the capacity also to spread the COVID-19 pandemic? Because honestly, if you're saying demonstration is good, capacity to spread the COVID-19, so is also your extraordinary congress. No, that's a very fair question, and, and, and thank you for asking. It's a very, very fair question. But you will appreciate that I said we are caught between a rock and a hard place. There's a Supreme Court judgment, Supreme Court judgment, the highest court in the land on this matter. So maybe what I didn't tell you is that we have an option of our lawyers to approach the same court and say, look at this. Because remember, we have tried to apply for a waiver from the health authorities, from the police, which they have said no. So the standing committee is still looking at these matters, but that's a very fair, fair question, and I, and I thank you for, 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 for asking. But really, uh, it's up to the Supreme Court, you see? And um, so you're caught between two arms of government. You, you're caught between the judicial arm of government, which is the Supreme Court, 
and the executive arm of government, which is the health authorities and, and, and the police. And, and we, in this case, we are just really the, the underdogs here that have got these two arms of government that are giving conflicting instructions to us. And um, please fight for us through your paper, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because what will we do? We are really vulnerable here. We are damned if we do, damned if we don't do. If I don't do the extraordinary Congress, uh, uh, your friend Blessed uh, and probably Rob and, and, and Mukobe are going to say I'm scared of an extraordinary Congress because you're going to lose and all those things. If I do it, then a valid question again, what of COVID-19? So, yeah, I think I once said it, I think I was sitting here and I said, look, if we were to, to be forced to go to a Congress without the clearance of the health authorities, personally as an individual, I won't be there because public health is, is, is very, very important. But the party, that's why we're having this meeting on a Sunday, we are struggling with the two instructions from the executive arm of government, which we have, no obli we, we have, we have an obligation to follow, and also the, the judicial arm of government, which is, which is the Supreme Court. So Robert says uh, the affidavits don't have, they don't, um, the, the, the lawyers have the power to, to do something for their clients. Uh, Rob, um, I wouldn't just suspect um, um, a fraud without basis. Um, this issue is before a court of law, so very soon it will be published.